We're now going to go to Mr. Crane for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for allowing me to uh, join uh, the dais today. Thank you, everyone who's shown up here um, as witnesses. And I also want to thank the, especially thank the families, the Gold Star families that are here today. I want to agree with a couple of my colleagues that have spoke already on this topic, um, Congressman Mills and Congressman Waltz, who have talked about um, this argument on the other side of the aisle that's complete garbage that this administration had no choice because they were basically just tracking with what the administration prior had been leading up to. And I also want to double tap on some of the things that they said because clearly this administration did not continue the policies of the previous administration when it came to our border, energy, economics, and so many other things. So I want to debunk and fact check that false claim right now because that's exactly what it is. I also want to acknowledge that this administration did not listen to the leaders on the ground, the generals that were wrecking, uh, recommending against their plan. Um, many of the witnesses have testified so far that that's one of the mi main mistakes we've made in previous wars where people in suits back in Washington do not listen to commanders on the ground. I also want to acknowledge that we left behind $7 billion in equipment and gear, 40,000 vehicles, 300,000 weapons, all comms equipment. And this is the thing that scares me the most as somebody who served in the SEAL teams, nearly all night vision equipment. And anybody who's ever done special operations in modern warfare knows how dangerous this is going to be to the next group of Americans or next group of allies that goes in there to deal with some unfriendly individuals. All biometric equipment, which is now being used to hunt down our allies, I cannot even believe that that, when I, when I read that report, I was like, oh my God, even for this administration, that's appalling. Now I want to point out something that bothers me severely. When John Kirby, the White House spokesman on April 6, 2023, made the quote in a press conference, all this talk of chaos, I just didn't see it. Colonel Crumrick, did you hear John Kirby say that? I did not hear him say that, but um, I wildly disagree with that statement. Colonel Col Kalinda, did you hear him say that? Did you watch that on TV? I did not see it on TV, but that sentiment makes me uh, sick to my stomach. Yep. 13 dead soldiers. Let me ask you guys something. Do the soldiers that have lost their lives and these families, these Gold Star families, especially the ones in the room today, do they deserve that this administration and our leaders take ownership of the leadership failures that led to this catastrophe? Colonel Crum, I'll start with you. The sacrifice by the Gold Star families and the loss of the 13 service members is something that um, haunts all of us. Um, you know, I had a chance to talk to them before we came in here, and I did tell them the story of General Latif and his family, who they saved, and are now living in the United States, and are a success story for what happens when you bring these folks out. Um, but their loss is something that I'll never accept. Thank you. That is not what I asked you, sir. I asked you if they deserve that our leaders who were in charge of this debacle take ownership. Absolutely. Of, how about you, Colonel Colinda? In terms of ownership, there's both uh, accepting responsibility for decisions and also determining cause for why these disasters, right. this particular disaster happened and why they keep happening. And uh, that's where I'd like to see the accountability. Sergeant Major, do these families and these Marines and these soldiers deserve that leadership take accountability. Sir, I have a son and a daughter. If uh, something were to happen to them in this same regard, um, I would want answers, absolutely. Mr. Chairman, I've got two more questions. I'll make them quick. To the families sitting behind you that are still clearly mourning, by a nod of your head, yes or no, do you feel like this administration has taken ownership and accountability? Yes or no? I didn't think so. Neither do the American people. The last thing I want to ask you, gentlemen, is this. 
Colonel Crumwick, are you worried about this current chain of command that is responsible for this disaster? Are you worried about them being able to be successful in the war that we are now careening towards in Ukraine? Are you, are you worried about their ability to be successful in that war? Because we've talked a lot today about avoiding past mistakes. We've seen what they're capable of. Are you guys concerned about it? I am concerned about the administration's ability to do it. I am not concerned about the military leaders that we have because they're the finest cut of the American fabric. Thank you, sir. What about you, Colonel Colender? I'm not an expert on the Ukraine fight, so I can't give you a good answer. Okay. Thank you. I yield back.